Hey guys, good morning. I have Avery with me. Say hi, Avery. We are just hanging out this morning. Porter is in the living room watching a show. I just put Ivy down for a nap and Grayson's at school and Anthony's at work. I'm just waiting on Avery to get tired to go down for her morning nap. We were having some puffs as a snack, huh? I wanted to recap yesterday. It was a crazy busy day. First, we started off with Avery had her PT appointment. So she does physical therapy okay. once every other week and she was a hot mess the whole time she's totally fine and a mellow kid and then it's like as soon as these pt people come she turns into somebody else and she threw tantrums she screamed and cried the whole time which she's like not me yeah it was horrible they were only able to get about 30 minutes into her and it was just not good but they gave me more exercises to work on with avery mostly she's got sitting pretty much down so we're working on transitioning from sitting to standing and standing to sitting and then also trying to get her to crawl but every time i get her into the crawl position she just locks her legs and refuses so i'm hoping she'll come around to it eventually and then right after that we had her one year old pediatrician appointment i took a quick clip of us at the doctor's office <gasps> are we at the doctor <laughs> we're at the doctor we're in the llama room or oh yeah a llama and a giraffe <gasps> such a big girl Whoa! are you done sitting we're just waiting on our shots. She did get pricked for lead and hemoglobin. We'll see. Now we're going to get shots. Three shots. <gasps> she likes the crinkle paper and the mirror. Avery loved the crinkle paper and the huge mirror. She loves looking at herself in the mirror. So she was enjoying that. Not so much enjoying the shots that she got. So they pricked her finger at the beginning to test her hemoglobin and her lead. They said her hemoglobin looked good. Lead takes a couple days. So we're hoping not to hear anything. When I had to do this lead test with my second porter, he ended up getting like inconclusive test results like three times in a row we had to keep pricking his finger kept not working and then finally we had to go and get his blood drawn like from the arm from the vein in his arm had to go to like an urgent care and get it done and then they were like oh yeah his levels are fine so i'm really hoping that doesn't happen with avery i didn't have any problems with my oldest grayson so we'll see how it goes um and then she ended up getting three more shots towards the end of the appointment she got Two, one in the back of each arm and then one on the leg. It was like MMR and Hepe maybe. Hmm, I can't really remember. They said the ones in the arms really hurt going in. They burn and she was so mad. I had to hold her down. She is strong. She's getting really strong. She did not like those. But we met with the pediatrician. Um, the big thing I wanted to ask him was if I could take Avery off of formula. Um, because it's expensive and usually I take all of my kids off of formula at a year old but with Avery and how little that she eats I just wasn't kind of sure what they were thinking but they said they took her height and weight her height is like 90th percentile still she's like 30 and a half inches tall her weight she's 22 pounds putting her in like the 70th or 75th percentile I can't remember okay I got cut off and I don't really remember I was going with it but Basically, yes, the pediatrician said she was good on going off of formula, which is good because that was about $40 a week that we were spending on formula um, because she's at a good weight and because she does eat some solids. I've been working on breakfast foods with her. We do pancake, muffin, um, scrambled eggs, different things like that. And then throughout the day, we do a lot of purees because um, those are easiest. Other things she kind of chokes on, but we do like banana, um, cut up fruit really small. Um, the PT actually gave me some ideas of things to try with her, some whole toast or a pineapple core, which I don't really like pineapple, so I don't know if I'm gonna do that, but 
um, definitely good ideas to try to get her to eat more. But yeah, so we were very excited about that. The pediatrician did tell me to switch out Avery's car seat. So I do need to do that. I have a hand-me-down that is still good. Like I didn't even know car seats expired before I became a mom, but it's not expired yet. So I do need to change that out, which will be sad because she loves the little toy bar um, that we have on our infant car seat, but she's just too tall. She's 30 and a half inches. She's just too tall. But other than that, he didn't really have any concerns. Of course, she's delayed but we have her in services i was telling him which i don't know if i've told you guys about we did apply for avery to do a school next year through the services through help me grow that we're doing um, and basically it would be two days a week that she would go just for a couple hours in the morning they have a pt there an occupational therapist there a speech therapist um so all the therapists and they just work with kids and they keep the class sizes really small i think it's like eight kids at a time so it's really hard to get into this program but our pt made it sound like we would get in because we submitted our um, application like right when it opened so hopefully she gets into that and then she will get more services as well and then i was telling him that we have the um, she has a, a cardiology appointment next week um, which is just a checkup because um, it's been a year since they found the heart murmur. When her pediatrician was listening to her, her heart, as he does every appointment, he said he could not hear the heart murmur anymore. So I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that is the case and that it has um, resolved itself and cleared up and we don't have to do cardiology anymore. When we went a year ago, the lead doctor head cardiologist, whatever. I don't even remember what her name was. She's really nice. She predicted that when we came back in a year, everything should be cleared up and we shouldn't have to worry about heart problems anymore. So I'm hoping that's the case because those appointments run about a thousand dollars after insurance. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not looking forward to that hitting our bank account, but I mean, it's the heart, so it's pretty serious. So anyway, um, other than that, it went good other than the shots. Avery did not like the shot. She had to get one in each arm and then one in the leg, MMR and Hepe and something else. Grayson was supposed to have soccer practice last night. Um, he has it every Thursday, but it has been raining so crazy. It's been cold and rainy and dreary like for days. I just cannot remember the last time I've seen the sun. It's horrible. I guess the last time I saw the sun was at Avery's birthday party because we had amazing weather for that. And then after that, it's just been a whole week of just horrible weather. They were like freaking us all out. It was all over TikTok, it was all over the news, all over social media that we were gonna get this storm of the century, two inch size hail, 80 mile per hour winds, tornadoes, it was gonna hit us. And we got all ready for it. Places closed early, everybody was hunkering down and we got rain. And that was it but we did get a lot of rain we've had like flood advisories every day anytime you walk in the grass around here it's just like wet and muddy and gross it's it's horrible we need to mow but we haven't been able to because it's just so miserable outside so anyway the the field was too saturated for them to practice thankfully they practiced last week because they have their first soccer game um tomorrow Porter has his at 8.30 in the morning, and then Grayson has his at noon. So both boys are very excited to do soccer. Porter's definitely way more into soccer than Grayson is. Not sure how many more years we'll do with him, but for now he says he likes it, so we're gonna continue it. So yeah, super excited to watch them play. It's always fun to watch my kids do sports. And then we also have Grayson starting baseball. That starts, um, I think practices start next week. We already heard from his coach. He's on the Phillies this year. Last year, he was on the San Diego Padres and this year he's the Philadelphia Phillies. That's exciting. Haven't had to practice him as teammates yet but his coach seems like really really nice. He's actually like a head baseball coach of a high school team so seems like really legit <laughs> compared to last year. So yeah he's gonna start that up so it's about to get real hectic and crazy because I think he has practices like two days a week and then he has soccer practice and then games and Porter has games. I can't even imagine how it will be next year when I can't even imagine how it will be once Porter does baseball too and then I have like two in baseball and two in soccer and all that or maybe Gray won't do soccer anymore and he'll just do baseball or vice versa. I don't know. It's just gonna be a little hectic and crazy around here but it's all good. 
So yes, we have the games tomorrow morning, and then we're actually going to Toledo this weekend to go see Anthony's uh, parents. His grandparents are in town from Georgia, so we're going to go say hi and celebrate Grayson's birthday a little bit early with his side of the family. So that's what we have going on this weekend. We have a long weekend because Grayson doesn't have school on Monday because of the solar eclipse. They're making it a teacher work day. All the kids have off because apparently the solar eclipse is supposed to happen like right as school would be getting out at like three o'clock. So they just decided to like not have all that chaos. It's supposed to get really dark outside and the kids trying to get home. So they just made it a teacher work day. We, where we are in Columbus, are in the path of 100% totality. So be jealous. So we are going to experience 100% darkness, supposedly. Although I've been getting reports that it's supposed to be really cloudy that day. So we'll see if we can see anything. We did get our solar glasses, our solar eclipse glasses. My sister Kelly, her apartment complex was giving them out for free. I tried going to the library because the library was giving them out and then they sold out of them. So I couldn't get them. So my sister got us some. So here are our glasses. They're pretty legit. So um, we got two. So maybe Anthony and I will use them. I can't imagine that the kids would really care about the solar eclipse. Maybe Grayson will because he is into science. So maybe we'll share them. But yeah, so it's supposed to hit at about 3.15 on Monday. It's supposed to start at like 2 and go until like 4.30. But like the totality is like for one minute long from 3.15. And they're saying like people are going to be flocking to our area. Um, gas stations are going to run out of gas. Um, hotels are charging like a thousand dollars a night I don't know if this is all true supposedly like groceries are going to be gone but we're literally just going to walk outside in our backyard and look up at the sky and see if we can see anything like they've got events going on at the zoo they've got the events going on in like downtown in our city but I just really don't want to deal with the traffic and the chaos of all that so we're just going to stay home Anthony's working from home he always does on Mondays yeah we'll see if we see anything we had a solar eclipse a couple years ago I was working I hadn't even had any kids at that time but um, we were living in Columbus and we had a solar eclipse but it wasn't a hundred percent totality so now we're a hundred percent gonna get dark so we'll see and speaking of Anthony and work he actually got a promotion um, we just found out about it two days ago they're announcing it today at work so super excited for him I should actually text him and see if they've announced it yet he is very excited he's worked really really hard for it so he gets a major pay bump so we're super happy about that and he just gets more responsibility and more recognition at work. So we're very excited for him. So instead of a package engineer too, he's a senior engineer. So, so he's very excited. I'm very proud of him. He has really worked really, really hard for it. That was really great news to hear about that. And I'll probably just like pull out the camera here and there. Maybe I'll see what Gray's up to after school and how his day was and I gotta kick Porter off the TV because he's been watching it for a little bit. And I don't think Avery's napping. So I think I need to go and figure out what's the deal with her. Avery Brynn. Hi. So with us stopping formula after this next can that I have, it is also an end of oatmeal. Lately, I've been combining it. I used to combine it with breast milk. Then we switched to formula. So now I combine it with formula. And Avery loves oatmeal in the morning. So maybe I'm going to have to find like regular adult oatmeal, oatmeal and start feeding that to her because she loves it. And I love how the texture is like clumpy. And um, I just feel like it's really good for her to be used to that instead of like the purees that can be kind of smooth. But that was it. We finished because I finished the I finished the container of oatmeal we have. I'm not going to buy a new one because we only have one more can of formula. So that's it, Avery. That's it. You did it. With my boys, I never stuck out the whole 12 months with the oatmeal because they usually got tired of it. But she loves oatmeal. Like puree, she'll give and take. But oatmeal every day, she would like, I fill it up to here and she downs it. No problem. So it's sad. I'm going to have to find some regular oatmeal and start making that for her. Huh? She sees something on the floor. I don't know what she's looking at. 
And of course I said, I don't know where the sun is. And now look, the sun is shining. But don't worry, we've got some uh, clouds back there. So sun's not gonna stay out for long, huh? Hi, should we go work on your exercises? Yeah. Brendan's castle. What is that? St. Brendan's castle? No. St. Brendan's church. Oh, wow. That's you really see this cool. Really big and what's big what's the Mega Blocks spot next to you? Yeah, it's the Jetta Tower. Oh, the Jetta Tower, of course. <laughs> so, you do like it? I love it. What's all the squares on the ground? That's the sidewalk. Oh, wow. It's a really big sidewalk. Yeah, it's about four feet long. Mm. A it, P it, a it's 28 Porter, feet I'm inches. holding Ivy. It's 28 feet inches. Oh, wow. I love it, Gray. That looks awesome. Well, Grayson's home from school, so we're officially on the long weekend. Porter is down here. I've got Ivy. I just put Avery down for a nap. Mama, can I uh, please go back to the house? A house? house. Uh -huh. After your vlogging, can I please have Snapchat? I've been really wanting Snapchat so I can snap After people. House. Yeah. Porter wants to build a house. In the slide. <laughs> With a slide. <laughs>